friends. We're, uh... Yeah, first day back on the... On the mountain. It's, uh... We'll see. Good morning, friends. How are we doing? Looks like we got something on the screen there. I might have to take care of. Our, uh, Buckins had his first job, and I got my boy after I busted my hand up there at Buckin stock. So, uh, it's kind of a funky job, really. We got uh, dead balsam here. You can see it. It's got an X on it. You probably won't see it, but it goes up into this crown. I'd almost fall it down in here, but I can't do that because it'll it'll brush up against the crown of the maple instantly and either get hung up and then roll out off the stump and take out the corner of the house. That's my gut feeling, so there's no point. Just shinny up it, knock the bones off it. Hogan can pull the, pull branches out and we'll chip down here. Um, and, and, that, and that'll be that. So actually, now that I look at this, <laughs> we can probably get Victor to pull straight down and then back in here and chip. I think that's what we'll do. And then we got another snag over here that's gone, 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 like right gone. So it's a couple of balsam snags, but they're both times. So we're gonna get at it. Here's our tree. I just filed up this power saw since I whacked it with the straw with the the scare strap. It's almost done. So I got my nice big thick strap. I like this big thick strap. I always have. Where's my oh I got no carabiner for my strap. I guess I'll have to put her back here like this. There we go. Balsam has really hard bark, like really hard. Hard, hard, hard. It's, it won't even go in, friends. You'll notice it. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's kind of funky bark. You gotta really kick in or, or you won't stick in. Get Mr. Belt. One more notch. Whoa. Bucking's losing weight. So friends, uh, you, obviously we did our we did our cutting the strap thing. Friends, I live in the real world, okay? Uh, if you're cutting your strap, doing an undercut, somebody asked me to do that, friends. That, that, if you're doing that, you're in the wrong industry. And I don't mean to sound rude, but come on, friends. If you're gonna be cutting your freaking strap on an undercut, then stop what you're doing. Get into another trade. It, it, it makes no sense to me to do a video on that. That is so not real world. 
I have nicked my strap going like this, cutting limbs off, and I've nicked it that way. But somebody was asking me to cut right up against the tree. Friends, I, I, don't, I, I don't know how you would do that in real world. This is our world as tree climbers, mainly, right here. This is where it is. So if you're asking me that you shouldn't be back barn like that anyway, so it, it just, I, I'm not doing that video. I'm not doing it because it's not, sorry boy, it, it's not real for me. I, I would never do that, cut my strap on an undercut. It, it just doesn't make any sense as a tree climber. Okay, somebody's gonna say, well, it was done by accident. Well, don't make that mistake. That, that doesn't make sense to me. H how would you do that? How would you cut your strap on an undercut? Makes no sense. <laughs> We got a bee's nest, friends, and they're going nuts. Damn it, I gotta hide. Are they hornets, boy? Shh. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I think they're in the tree still. They're coming after me. I might have to get out of here. Damn it. Um, look at that. 
the bark's all flaked off and healed over. That is strange. Well, I wonder, I wonder if, Sonny, go by, go, just run by and go down the bottom and see if you can track down where the nest is. Cause they're hornets. They're settling down now, but see where they're starting to conjugate. I think it might have been in the maple bud. It's right in the pile of rust. Like it, in, like all over it. It's not one spot. Like they're just all over there. Okay, I see them right there. Son of a gun. Oh yeah, they're they're so it looks to so can you see remnants of a nest under that limb? Or not? Because it wouldn't have been dead. They, they. I gotta go up and let a top go, and and then and then let a great big stem go, which I'm fine with. But it ain't gonna be. It ain't. Oh, they're big hornets. Well, I don't know, friends. We hit a hornet's nest and they're going mad, right mad. Uh-oh. They're they're not they're not they're not happy. Look at this tree. It blistered. Look at it. It's like this all the way up. It lost its it freaking peeled its bark all back, and then it started to heal with these blisters. It's kind of weird. I gotta go. This tree is really strange. It's a balsam, which it doesn't surprise me. But it's, look at it. see. See the attachment of the, of the little epicormic shoots? Uh, this thing's got a great big hornet's nest in it. The black ones, friends. Hogan was down there. He almost got it, but he didn't. So here, we're almost at the top. I got to sweep it by this alder or maple crown. The maple's in still in good shape, so we just got to be careful. But the hornets are mad. Right mad. <laughs> That'll probably rile them up a bit on that. See that? Yeah, they didn't like that. That's because it's at the tip of that branch is, is where I think that the nest might have been. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to let this go maybe right out towards the corner of the... Are you gonna go through that angle? Well, I, I'm gonna brush it off the corner, yeah. And it's gonna come straight for me. Uh, you're fine there. I'm gonna put it right out there. Okay. Gonna roll it, roll it off, so to speak. I think this will fit now. Interesting how scaly this thing got, eh, friends? Here we go. So, yeah, so she's leaning out. That's a short little top. I'm just gonna send it off the corner of this 
Maple here, son. It's not. by the brush. It's going to come close to the camera. So, single strap climbers, um, which I hope there's not that many of you out there. See these little nubs? It's nice to be below though. I'm way down below my waist, okay? I've got a lean on the top, so I know it's gonna go. But because there's a lean, I wanna cut the wood up. I don't want it to pull the tree over. Chance for barber chair. So you wanna cut the fiber up. Does that make sense, friends? So, there we go, okay, we broke one little limb off, it's rotten, see the limb, it's, it's completely rotten, there's bugs in it, it's hollow, so the, so the maple is probably, it most likely might be hollow, I wouldn't mind just cutting this off or throw a rope into that and get that out of there, because uh, the, the bottom one's fine, I knew it would take one, and I'm okay with that, so, let's see where my strap is, it's way down there, Holding wood's all cut up at once. It pulled the tree. I knew I was cut up, but I got a nice piece of holding wood. But if you cut slow on a lean tree, especially with rot in it like this, you can chance of it splitting. Cut that holding wood up. Don't get pulled right over. It rocked and rolled enough as it was. So eat the wood up, friends. Eat the wood up. Don't worry about that top. So now what I'd like to do, if I can, I'll spend a couple minutes. I won't jack around too much, but I'm gonna see if I can't maybe put a throwing knot around this tree and uh, this maple limb and see if I can't pull it out of there. If not, I'll cut that limb off. Boop! Yeah, I'll see if I can do a little and I'll throw it over top so it kinda gets in there, you know what I mean? And I'll do it in a fashion that I can, like this, friends, see? Like this. And what I might do is I might even go like this and then grab the tail and come through so that it actually stays tied together. I don't know if that's a smart idea or, a, or, an, or not a good idea, but I have a reason for it. I'll show you what it is. This is it right here. There, okay. So now, yeah, see? So now, oops, I don't wanna go past there. I want to, there, like that. See that? 
I'm around it now. See? See, like that? Here we go. Here we go. Now I got the limb. I can pull it up. And it should, if I'm not mistaken, it should. Let's try it. Whoop! There we go. See? Like nothing happened. But those bees aren't going to like that. Okay? So, uh, so friends, the, the plan changed. My plan was to strip that tree right up to the top, kick it out, kick a little top out, and, and follow. So now what I got to do, but, but it's, uh, I, what I can do now, we ran into that hornet's nest. So I had to change my plan. So I came up, knocked the top out. See, I couldn't fall it because of the corner of the house down there. It would have rolled out off these limbs and guaranteed hit the house. It was not a chance I was willing to take. But now that I got the top out and it won't brush off this maple, you see, now I can take another little chunk out and send it underneath that maple tree long, full length, right? And we can assess these bees. So that's the plan. So friends, you don't have to back bar. Back barring is, is this is for young climbers. Try and get out of the habit of back barring. Back barring is dangerous for one thing, and I'll show you why. That's why. Okay, so that's what I'm repelling off. And the reason I'm doing that is because I can now fall the, fall the tree full length. I couldn't before. So I just put a V in the top. I come over the top of the strap. I grab this and I tie my old school taut line after I get onto this thing. I don't have a carabiner in there yet. So I just go around here for now. I'm going to get me a carabiner. It's a brand new... Um, what do you call these things? Weavers. It's a weaver. This is not a repelling line by any means, friends. It's not. It's a rigging line. And it don't repel nice. So I'm just gonna do one on the bottom, two on the bottom, and a taut line hitch is two more on top, like this. But don't set it yet. Pull these down, tighten them up, right? Get them down, pull them tight. Set your knot like that. Hip thrust up, pull up on the tail, and sit on it. You see? See it tighten up? See, I'm, I'm sitting on it, and it's, it's totally tightening up. And you tighten the top one up too, tie your figure eight, and you're off to the races. Leave your strap on if you want. That way you got extra safety there, right? And we're out. But this is not a repelling line. It, it, it's seriously not. It's, uh, it's not gonna be a good repeller. But double check. See, I'm there, good. Here, good. No obstructions. I'm just gonna repel out and use this as my, my tie-in. 
on this on this line with my scare strap still in those hornets down there are ang freaking re they are they're angry so i'm gonna leave all the foliage leave the rest of the foliage on the tree and they're going down with it so now i'm hitting limbs so i got to get rid of my strap so i'm just going to kick my strap out now over there and just work with this this taut line hitch on the way down but i'm not going to let it run because it'll burn my hands i'm gloveless and because i'm going down now i will leave this in the i will leave this in the tree once in a while on a rope that's not your everyday repellent rope you got to stop pull up tighten it i'm leaving this in the tree because it's just going to anger them more but now this can go by very easily so let's pull out but they're going to be mad like real mad and this strap, this rope is not going to be long enough for me to get out that i do know no they're angry where'd they go interesting they're not even in the tree no more son well wow So here's this end of the line, friends, for me, right here. So I, I shouldn't be really here. It's a bad spot to be here because of these freaking hornets. Oh no, they've settled right down. Okay, so that tells me that there's a nest on the ground and they're all in it. That's what that tells me, son. Okay. I, I can guarantee it. No, so um, we'll find it. <laughs> Trust me on that. So now, okay, well, because, oh yeah, yeah, they're there. That's a big nest, boy. Friends, we, we got a dilemma here, friends. I think there's another nest, there has to be. We got hornets, black, black hornets, angry hornets. Now we've got a complete nest over there, but, oh Jesus, there's one. Yeah, it, it seems to me, that why are they in this maple and 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 they're big man hornets don't eat they don't pollinate why but why are they down here is my question so i'm walking by here i don't see another nest i don't see another nest in that tree but they are angry and it seems to whoa mother Son of a, they're angry and they're big. They're big black ones, friends. It's not pretty. I can see the nest right there. We just threw a stick at it to see if it was active and it, it is active. But the funny thing is, is they're over here too. See, we can get that stem out now like nothing in here, but I don't understand. I, I, I think what we're gonna have to do is wait till nighttime and spray the buggers at night with something because they're mean and scary and come back and chip. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not if it was wasps i wouldn't care i'd go right in there right now and take a sting oh yeah the, oh yeah yeah oh yeah that's their nest yeah that's it guaranteed they are angry the only other way to do this oh they're swarming around the nest now friends can you see it it's right there the size of a football right there and and but 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 my concern is i don't get it why they're over there there's no piece of the nest or nothing there they're there oh they're angry well what is going on why are they up here by our brush pile and it, it, it's not like there's a few like there's a ton friends now i don't know if there's two nests or what there could be a remnant yeah see they're they're around here son i don't know i was i didn't notice them until i threw a branch onto the pile and once i threw a branch on, i threw one on there and there was like 50 of them chasing me up i the see this guy here see them they're hornets man oh yeah they're massive. they're black they're and like an big and when they sting when those hornets sting you they're they don't stop either they they're sting, different they keep stinging you i got i got what are they doing in the maple i wonder if they're just kind of See, they, they are feeding on something, son. I, I, hornets do. You, don't be mistaken. Be, wasps feed on, on stuff, and, and they do. They're, I think they're feeding. Because, see, they're up there, too, son. Yeah. And they're way up they're there, too. The yeah, they are. So they're feeding. So I'm wondering if 
maybe there is not something here and it was just the maple that we stirred. But we saw the big nest over there. Oh no, over there, but but not here, bud. So do you yeah, think maybe they were just in the maple? That's what I'm thinking. So maybe we could snip that branch and drag it away with the nest in it to get them away from us. We got to make a plan. I want to get this job because that ain't pretty. The, 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 those freakers are not pretty because I could walk up in there and literally snip the branch. It goes quite a ways there, doesn't it, son? That's a long branch, yeah. But where would we grab it that, that Arbutus is in the way? It's either that or we destroy it and, and deal with the, the madness. I don't want that. It's going to be mad whether we, whether we, oh, you know what we could do? A pole pruner. Hook onto it with a pole pruner. Yeah. And drag it away. Yes. That's what Hector's we, got a pole yes, he does. So that's what we'll do when he comes. Yeah. I won't, but what you got to do, son, is go in with determination and just walk right up, grab the thing, try and keep your hand behind you and not all crazy. Yeah. Nice and calm. And I'll, I'll snip it with the loppers. I hope that's the limb I'm after. It is. Okay, son, I, I'm on the branch. Yeah, I'm coming in. All right. When I say go, just do it. Oh, they're fucked. Oh, motherfucker! Woo! He got me, he got me, he got me, he's on my back. Ah, oh, he got me. Fuck, we could have had him too. Woo! Woo! Here, I'll get you. Here, is he on oh, my back right there? Under my sleeve? Don't worry about it, they go, it goes away in a sec. Yeah, we're not. Oh, just a minute. You got to make sure they're gone. Yeah. Okay. I got one right in the shoulder. Right there. He's gone. Underneath me there. Get him out of there. We didn't make it, friends. They're angry. We can't. No, I'm not doing that again. Fuck. We, we took too long. Honestly, we took too long. Ah, that hurt. I know. They got us. Son of a... I didn't have that turned on. Okay, friends. Sorry, I didn't have you turned on. We got beat the first time, so we made a second plan. These are hornets and scary hornets. They're not wasps. They're big, black, inch long. I got a sting already. He's got one. They're not pretty. They're in attack mode now. Did it break and hang? It's still hanging there. Yeah, okay, because it's on that you, stick. You snipped it though, so. You, you put the stick in it, so it's sitting on the stick and in the ground now. Oh, I guess. You could literally grab that stick, son. No, because the stick will just rip the nest right open. True. Okay, so now we, it actually didn't hit the ground, which is kind of nice. It would have. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, I can see it from here. They're, they're angry. They are mad. I can't fall that tree until they're gone. And really, there's no foliage on it. I could come back for that and snip that. But we're getting rid of this nest. We're, we're, we're doing it. This free job turned into freaking extermination. Well, this happens sometimes, eh? Okay. I got chased literally to the road when we first discovered them. I got chased. They come. Oh, they come. They come right for you. Okay, so we, we poured gas on them. That was kind of a last resort, but we did it. That's right, works just as good. Well, no, it's, it's, it's a good idea. It's, I was going to run in and grab the nest and run like a football, but they told me not to do it. I was. I've done it before. What's a sting or two, right? But they're screwing my job up big time because they're not wasps they're hornets and then they're, then they're not like they're not playing nice at all okay we're, we're we're free of hornets almost <laughs>
Sorry, turn that off. the tree as soon as I take my next step it's going on his head he looked at me and I said go ahead but then I saw that piece of my foot wouldn't have been the end of the day but if it had got him on the back or on the collarbone or something he might have had to sit down My point being, don't just go running in. Don't go running in even if, even if the saw is turned off. Until you see that guy's feet move up there. Until he starts moving up. Or eye contact, communication. That little piece of wood is going, watch. There it goes, right to the bottom of the tree. Wouldn't have put him in the hospital, but it would have hurt. So just, this is for climbers and for groundmen. Communicate. 